But when I sit down, I feel like I'm like, I look like a stack of pancakes, which isn't a crime. No, I don't but it's a yet. much, it's a much cuter look when I'm standing. I don't think you look like a stack of pancakes. <laughs> I do a little bit. I can see my no pancakeness. I love your pancakeness. Hello. Um, Felix has been trying to get me to film a favorites video. Like, these are my current favorites for years, and I never understood it. I was like, I don't know if I get it. Huh. But then I watched uh, Cozy Games. Kennedy, our this friend. Is a, this is a Cozy K uh, fan account. Yeah. I watched hers, and I was like, this is really cute. What I will say, is, as far as the list that I've made... Oh, unhinged. Mine's not so much... It's not all products, number one. Yeah. Some of mine are like vibes. Yeah. Uh, secondly, nothing in this is sponsored. No. We would tell you if it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. We will always tell you. We don't get a lot of YouTube sponsorships, but hopefully that day's coming. We haven't yet, yeah. If you'd yeah. like to YouTube sponsor us. Yeah, we'd love to get paid. Send me an email. But we're not there yet. No, no, okay. No, 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 no. Uh, these are just things we're liking right now. They're our favorites. Oh, we did different categories. They're in different categories. The first category, the first category, is, category house. is house. House or home, some have said. Yeah. Um, tiny bowls. This is a tiny bowl. They are for purchase. They are not for purchase. My aunt made these. Um, we had three of them. There's only one that's clean right now that I could bring down here, but we have like <laughs> we ten. Have, like, we now stack. have like ten. There's like a rainbow stack and like another purple one and then like one that has like strawberries on it. We use these for everything. This is like the perfect bowl for like sauce or like a tiny bit of ice cream if you're lactose intolerant or for ketchup or we I, everything. Yeah. A spoon rest, a tea bag mm -hmm. holder. These are multi-purpose. I'm obsessed with them. They literally, they're either in someone's hand or in the dishwasher. Yeah, that's the only place that they are. They're we use them all the time. Constantly. We love them. I'm sure you could buy something like this I'm at sure like can. a TJ Maxx. It's the premise of like a ramekin, essentially, except for it doesn't have like square sides. I also use it uh, for like ingredients. So if I have something that's like a small amount of something, or if I'm making like pesto, like vegan pesto, yeah, it's perfect for that. It's good. Yeah. Next, can you see the ottoman over there? Uh, no, I can lift it up. We have this IKEA ottoman. Yes. We bought this over a year ago, maybe two years ago at this point. Yeah. When we bought it, it was seventy five dollars. It's now ninety five dollars, which is a racket, honestly. Yeah. Inflation. However. It sucks. It's amazing. We use it all the time. Felix is sitting on a different IKEA ottoman right now, but careful. <laughs> I was just trying to rock also. Yeah. I was like, maybe it's a gliding ottoman. <laughs> <laughs> but we use this like rattan, rattan. I have no idea. Uh, Basket one, weave. All the time. It's got a little hole, but we put a little blanket in. It is often for sale on Facebook Marketplace after it has been destroyed by animals. By someone's cat. By someone's cat, typically. I would say that this is the perfect ottoman if you own no animals. Yeah. If you do own animals... I they don't think it. I don't think this is for you. It's perfect. We keep Morgan. This is her. This is my like quilt. My little quilt that her. Shelley made me for my yeah. birthday a couple years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we keep that inside of it. You can sit on it. We're both chunky, and we don't sit on it together. No, but we can't. But sit we, on it it's separately. perfect anytime we've been doing like any of the mural painting. I'm sure yes. you've seen it because you can sit on it and you're like at a perfect angle. Yeah, and height to like, and height to like do things that like you so you don't have to sit on the ground yes, necessarily. It's really good. Uh, it's it really is. sturdy. Like we put things on top of it all the time. It's really nice. Yeah. It's also nice to have a place for someone to sit when we have people over yeah sometimes and we sit in a circle okay this is another one that's not a product <laughs> exactly but we do this thing every week most of the time called family meeting hello this is this is a little calendar that we bought that's just like the week yes but we put the days of the week on it yeah and then we plan what we're gonna have for dinner yeah we have we live in a multi-generational home so it's me and felix downstairs uh upstairs it's Felix's parents and their little brother. Yes. The five of us all My little together. brother who's 23. 20, yeah, almost 24. Yeah. Uh, I'm so scared. Yes. People forget that Bo exists. They just like go to community college just busy and like sleep in so. late. And so, yeah. Anyway, we have this meeting every week. We decide what we're going to have for dinner. And it makes a lot of things easier. Yes. Because deciding what to have for dinner is like the worst part of being an adult most yeah. of the time. Uh, yeah. Um, Felix is the cook. Of yeah, the home. That's true. The benefit is that the food is good. The other benefit for Felix is that usually if they're the one cooking, they're not the one who has to clean up. Right. So me and mom used to do most of the cleaning. Now it's mostly her because I'm too sleepy. Right. On account of the growing baby. Yeah, like it only takes like 10 minutes of our week. Yeah. And it makes everything so much easier. And then when we do this list, we just also make like the grocery list. Yeah. Dad and mom plan. They do like 
uh, delivery groceries. They yeah, they have like Walmart subscription, plus. whatever for that. And then we go to the grocery store in person. So if there are things that make more sense for us to buy, we'll buy them. If there are things that make more sense for them to buy, they'll buy them. Um, I think when we first moved in, I thought about if we were going to do like a grocery a share, like share, like changing of like, I don't know, like money, whatever, figuring out how that works. And I feel like right now it just kind of makes sense the way that it is. It just depends on what is happening. Yes. We also go to the grocery store in person. It's like we're always buying the produce. Right. So we can pick it out. Yes. Uh, Those are way cheaper than getting grocery yeah. delivery. Yeah. I don't mind going to the grocery store right now. That might change after baby's here. Yeah. Um, but it's amazing. If you also hate deciding what to have for dinner, just yeah. spend like 10 minutes on Sunday and have that horrible time all at once. Yes. And also plan like when you're going to do leftovers. Because if you make like soup and then like taco night and then like something and you're like, oh, fuck, what do we do on the next day after that? Leftovers. Because you already probably have soup. At and least taco, so. Yeah. Yeah. We also try to eat leftovers for lunch. It's mostly mom who ends up doing that. Yeah. When we worked in an office job, it was much easier because it's like you're packing a lunch. Since we are here all day, it's like, well, I'll make something new. <laughs> yeah. Which, yeah. Um, we'll get to that later. Yes. Oh, the next one, it's behind me. No, oh. I was like, what do you mean? Bug zapper. Okay. I've, I had seen I'm the- I'm going to content warning bugs that are dead. I'm going to show you. This is like the equivalent- of like those zit patch thingies. Yeah, but for bugs. But for bugs. It's so nice. So I didn't buy, the one that you see on TikTok all the time is called like Zevo, and that one's like $20. This is, I don't even remember the name. I just looked it up on Amazon when I was already gonna order something else uh, and added it and it's been like, it was like $12 for like one and then four refills, maybe like $13. Um, it's been amazing. I just change out the little sticky thing like between like every week to like week and a half. I personally think it's cool seeing how many bugs it's killed. Uh, we had like kind of a gnat problem, kind of out of nowhere. It's uh, The only thing I can think is that it's gotta be from the plants. However, we have the plants. We've had the plants since we moved in. Yeah. So I don't know why it suddenly got so bad weird. a few months ago. Yeah. But anyway, it's been really nice to have this. Uh, it makes me feel better. I feel like it makes other things like less annoying. And now we've got one in like every room in our house. Yeah. And I love them. Definitely. I don't know if this one will stay in here when the baby is like sleeping in here. Yeah, I don't know. Because I don't want him to touch it. Probably, uh, probably not, yeah. But at least right now, it's amazing. The next thing that I have is my Owala water bottle. I am happy for the girlies who got obsessed with Stanley or whatever. Like, do whatever works best for you. Follow your bliss. Follow your bliss. I got this, this one on like a whim at Target when we were gonna go to Disneyland, yeah. like last summer. Yeah. Cause I was like, I want one that locks and closes. And like, that was important to me and that was all I really cared about. And I heard good things about this one. I was like, whatever. It is so amazing. Uh, I love that it locks and closes. I love that I can put it not in my regular cup holder in my car because of the way that our car is built, but it can fit in the one that's in the door. So I take it literally everywhere. I love it so much that I bought a second one. And that one I put no stickers on so I can just pop it in the dishwasher. It's so easy to carry around. You can like lift the lock part up and carry it by that if you want to. Um, you can put all of it in the dishwasher, like all the pieces come apart and you can put it in the dishwasher. It keeps everything really cold. I'm obsessed with it. It's the only way that I drink as much water as I do is because I love it so much. Okay, did you want to talk about the last house thing that I have? We've been reading the Twilight series together before bed to the baby. This is also not a product. No. <laughs> this is an activity. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's fun. Morgan was halfway through New Moon when we started doing this. Yeah. Because it's just on her Kindle. It's been fun and silly. It's nice. I feel like it puts us in like a good... We're trying. We're both trying to scroll less Yeah. at the request of our therapist. I think all of us should try to probably scroll less because yeah. you end up on, I don't know, reading something stressful and then you're like, I have to learn more about this thing and it's 11 p.m. and you have to get up for work tomorrow and like... Shout out to our therapist because she's right. It's just, it's so hard. It's hard to stop. So we're both trying to not scroll as much and then I personally am also trying to not scroll at all after like 7 p.m. Like I'll check my apps to make sure like nobody's messaged me anything stressful that I like need to take care of. Right. But anyway, reading before bed helps with that. Yeah. So what we do first is read together. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's also nice because Felix does, like, the voices, and, like, I feel like the baby can hear, and I'm so, like, he doesn't understand what's happening, but yeah, it's just, like, nice for him to hear our voices and, like, for Morgan us says to... that the baby's extra kicky when I'm doing Bella's voice, which yeah. is really funny because Bella's just, like, a little more dramatic when I do her, probably. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, like, shrill and concerned. She's it's probably just loud, time. honestly. That's he's true. Like, That's true. What's that? But it is funny. Yeah. It's funny. It's nice. It's, like, us spending time together. As a couple, yeah, uh, doing something vibey, low key, yeah, wind down time. It's also like it's both of us reading it for the first time as like adults, right? Mom. 
absolutely wrong. When's the last time you read them? Uh, I think when I had my, I think I was in early college. So like. Not like a real adult. Yeah. It's been a minute. So it's a lot of us reading something and being like, I cannot believe I that. cannot believe. That girl, she's crazy. Yeah. Her vampire boyfriend, who's also a bad guy. Yeah. He's crazier. Yeah. Jacob Black, which by the way, I've never been team Jacob and I'm still not. I'm team everyone is <laughs> go stupid. to therapy. Yes, everyone team everyone go to therapy. He's just 16 and a half. Yeah, That's why he's every like time that. he's like being a bitch, I'm like, he's literally, he's literally 16. 16. He's just being 16. That's not a crime. Yeah. So while I am team Edward, I Jacob, I will fight for him. Yeah. For that six foot seven body of a 25 year old. Yes. For no, for no reason, reason, Stephanie Meyer. Yeah. Stephanie Meyer, please be normal challenge. And she can't, <laughs> do, she it. can't do it. It's not possible for her. Yeah, we just have, we both like grew up with them. Yeah. And like, it's kind of nice because it's like nostalgic and also us being like, why? Oh my god. The funniest part is knowing that my mom read these books as like a grown ass adult and was like, oh my god, my kids should read my these. Teenagers my teenagers should read these. My teenagers should read these. They're, inc they're incredible. And I don't, I just, I love her so much. I think that we will make different decisions <laughs> in parenting and I'm so glad I was exposed to the Twilight books. No, young no age. it's a big, I love it. It's iconic. But also it, it is obviously problematic uh, so in some funny. ways. And so it's, it's so funny. funny to read as an adult and who knows better about some things to be like. I will throw in a picture of me and my little brother and my mom at the Twilight Breaking Dawn Midnight release of, this, of the book. Yeah. Because it was, I think I was a 12 or 11. 12? So you do know how to put in pictures. Well, don't try to teach me how to use Adobe Premiere Pro because I am just trying my best. Okay? I don't have, sometimes you don't have time to learn something new, but I can't just put in a photo with no Hmm, audio. interesting. It's just not as, you want to do that the whole video? I think that if we hold things. I think it's more fun. We also then have to like pop it up. film and picture them later. You see what I'm saying? Quicker to do it this way. Where we're That's talking. true, I guess. How are your nipples? They just hurt so much. Do you need... I don't know. I don't know. Okay. okay. The next category is media. Felix didn't have anything to add to this one. Oh, we're just so watching all the same media. What do you mean? No, that's true. We're attached to the hip. Not always. Wrong. <laughs> I love it. But we're always watching. And I stuff. love it. I, my okay, my one like addition would be that I'm rewatching Steven Universe in my free time. Oh yeah, how's that it's going? It's fun. It's cute. It's a good show. There are some people who don't like certain things about Steven Universe, and I would say those are all good critiques. Yeah. But also, generally speaking, I think it's really fun, and I it means a lot to me as someone who did not get to grow up with queer representation on television. And there are a lot of things in that show that the first time I watched them, I like sobbed because it was such a big deal to me. And I think that I'm always going to have a special place in my heart for it. So it's nice to be watching again. Yeah. I think that's nice. Yeah. I have recently entered my YouTube era as far as consuming content. Mm -hmm. Felix's parents have always used YouTube as if it was its own streaming service. They're gadget girlies. And I never understood it. I never knew anyone like that. Um, my friends, like, I don't, I didn't know anyone who really, like, watched... You didn't watch Jenna Marbles, you didn't watch Shane Dawson. No, I watched watch... Shane Dawson every now and then. Like, in middle school is, like, when he was, yeah. maybe early high school. And then, like, random Smosh videos, but it, it was, like, I knew that Smosh posted a video on, like, Fridays at 3 or whatever. And so I got home on Friday, I'd watch their 10-minute video and be, like, nice. And then I would log off of YouTube and go back. But you weren't like going through and watching like every single thing that BuzzFeed posted. Like, no. You know, like an occasional Try Guys video and you were like, oh yes. my god, they're so funny, so cute. But like it wasn't like something you were watching. Yeah, it wasn't ever. It was also like when I was at all watching YouTube, it was like in the computer room in our house. Right. So like it is still relatively new to me for it to be something you can watch on the TV anyway. When we put YouTube on the big TV like the second we were able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Not my experience. Yeah. Um, so th like Upstairs has always done that. I'm like just entering that now, I would say. Um, I would like watch my friends' vlogs every now and then, but mostly it's like if I want to watch something, I would turn on a TV show. Um, that is changing. Starting with our friend Cozy Games, yeah. <laughs> who posts like one hour long videos. And I was like, I don't care why people are really like into these really long videos in general. And then I started watching hers and I was like, mm, I kind of get it. Yeah. They're lovely. They're lovely. The vibes are good. It does kind of feel like we're hanging out. Um, I really like making them. I mean, Felix edits them. I really like filming YouTube videos. I have a good time. But I never really like watched them that much unless it was like, uh, like, uh, like when we would prepare for a cruise. I would like ah. find a random family vlogger channel or whatever 
going on the same ship around the same time. Yeah. To be like, what was the weather like? Like, you know, get like an idea. But it wasn't like, it wasn't because I cared about that family. It was because I cared about the activity. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the conspiracy videos that got... Oh, the swoop videos? The, yeah. I should add, swoop is on the list also. Yes. I would say that's like in the same... Yeah. Yes. Very different vibes. Very different vibes, but long form, very long form content. Yes. <coughs> yeah, I've been watching basically everything Cozy Games posts. Mm -hmm. Me and Shelly get together on like Saturday mornings usually and watch like whatever her newest long video is. Um, And then together while doing all the painting and stuff... We watched a lot of the Swoop documentaries. <laughs> yeah, they're good. <laughs> they're good. They're good. I really like her vibe. Uh, I really like that if she ever like makes a mistake or anything, she's like very, I don't know, like she's like, a, they're, they're both like very real people. And I think that was the other thing is like, I only knew, I had friends who watched vloggers who seemed really fake. Yeah. That's fair. And so I was I was like, I don't really, I'm not into that, which is why we like to be really like intentional and like honest with our content. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I like when other people do that too. So yeah. yeah. As a family, we've been watching Project Runway. This is all we do. So we had a moment, <laughs> I think it's important to say, I think when we really started watching things as a family was because of Sister Wives, because Morgan and I watched it during kind of like the- I would say it was like the biggest- It was during the roughest part of our fertility journey. Yes. It was something that was so unlike anything that was going on with us. And, and unlike anything going on in like the world. Yeah. Because when you start watching something like Sister Wives, which started filming in like 2009. Yes. Like yeah. it was so, we don't make Sister Wives like content anymore. We have done like podcast episodes about them in the past. Yes. Uh, but now we're like. I think now, especially that we are bringing a kiddo into this world, we're a lot more intentional about when there is real people yeah. involved. Versus and, like when they're acting. Yes. I mean, and like, I don't know how real this reality show is to be I clear. I don't know how scripted it is. None of that. However, they are real people using their real names, yes. talking about their real lives. Those children who are who are now adults who are on that show, anything that they do is going to be attached to that show. Yeah. Which is There are like tabloids so writing about them. You know what I mean? Yeah, when they are like people who like maybe don't want to be in the public at all. And some of them do, which sure. is fine. Totally fine. But it's that's a lot. So anyway, so Morgan and I watched Sister Rives during like the roughest part of our fertility journey, kind of like towards the beginning. Yeah, if I ever met any of the like sister wives, I think I would be like I'm a huge fan and this is like really silly, but like I, what's so what's so funny about people who are like like us right now, there could yeah. be someone watching this who got really into our vlogs while they were recovering from having their wisdom teeth. Yeah. And so like those two events are like attached to them. Yes. I guess I probably wouldn't say that to them, but like what I wish I could say is like There was a really hard moment I was having and, and like this was like the highest point of joy. Yes. Thing, that's exactly it. Was watching <laughs> during that time was watching the thing that you guys did that you might feel is cringy now. Yes. And it was so important to me and like thank you for having made it. I yeah. Kind of like the also like the the drama real like that is so stressful and possibly traumatic. Yeah. And like the like petty drama of like being on a reality show. Sure. Uh like it yes, that's exactly it. It was like kind of like the worst part of one section of my life. But every night we were like, at least tonight we get to watch one the episode most of the girlies. Bananas. And we also like, only call it girlies. Yeah. <laughs> we don't call it sister wives. We're like, oh my god, girlies. We're watching the girlies. Yeah. So we don't talk about it like... We don't talk about it anymore and we won't. This is probably like the time that we're going to talk about it and then we don't. But we had that happen. And then uh, as a family, when we all moved in together after a while, we were like, mom. Sorry. I'm really you can have your snack. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. We were like, mom, I feel like you need to watch this with us. So we watched it all together as a family. And now when new episodes come out, we like watch them as a family. Um, so that happened, and then we were in, like, a House Hunters era. Oh, yeah. For, like, a chunk of time, and then now we've shifted, oh, we did Lego Masters also, even though that was only, like, a season, two like seasons. Three seasons okay. Yes. And then we did Is It Cake, which was fun, and now we're in our Project Runway era, which has much more content. Similar to Sister, this is the closest to Sister Wives, because in, yeah, it's, like, in terms 20 of how years. Much been. <laughs> it's also kind of fun, because, like, Mom and Bo and I are all, like, working on projects upstairs while we're, like, watching this thing where people are, like, making things, which is kind of yeah. fun. Yeah. Also, I think, like, not always, especially, like, in the older, older seasons, but in the newer seasons, like, they're mostly friends, it appears, at least, who all, like, obviously they all want to win, but also, like, they like seeing their friends succeed. Yes. 
which is nice. Like, I know the Great British Bake Off is also kind of like that, which is why people like it. Yeah, Predator's Run Runway is, like, really fatphobic in the early seasons, uh, so yeah. we skipped the first, like, ten seasons, basically, and there's, like, occasional weird fatphobia. Yeah, we started in, like, season eight, um, or se seven or eight. And we were, like... And we lot. were like, this is a lot. So then we skipped to wherever 2010 is, which I think season 10. Yeah. And like, and love Tim Gunn, love Heidi. Now we're watching All Stars. And the only reason we're enjoying it is because we know all the contestants on right. All Stars. Yeah. Not all of them, but most of them. Hate, hate the host and the judges for All Stars. I don't hate Alyssa Milano. I think she's like fine. She's fine. No one's going to be Heidi. No, but I liked Carly. Carly was cute. Yeah, I thought she was cute. Who I, I, I didn't hate? think she was trying to be Heidi, you know what I mean? Yes. Who I hate is Isaac Mizrahi. Yeah. Him and Michael Kors, there's a special place in horrible judge hell for I them. hate them. They're so... I hate Sorry them. to Isaac Mizrahi if you're watching I'm this. not sorry. Isaac, if you see this... We hate you. We don't like you. Oh my I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not... I'm sure... I hope you're a nice person. You're a horrible judge. I just feel Maybe like... he's trying to make people mad. Maybe he's trying to do like a Simon Cowell thing. Oh, I, I, I bet I, you're right. I hope that's what he's doing. I think that's what they're trying to do, yeah. And like, it just doesn't feel that way. Like, Zach Posen uh, on regular runway. I love Zach Posen. He's so cute. He's I so like cute. Brandon Maxwell. He's like the newer one. He took yeah. Zach Posen's job. He's really cute. I feel like on regular runway for the most part. I understood their critiques. Yeah. Even if it was something that I liked and they hated, I was like, whatever. Like, I hear that. And then, like, I'm, I just don't feel that ramp on All Stars. No. It seems like they'll say things like, this feels too basic. Sure. And I'll be like, okay. And then, like, they don't really say anything else. Versus, like, on regular runway, I feel like they'll be like, we've seen this a lot from you. It just feels more personal. It feels like they're actually paying attention. Yeah. And giving actually helpful notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like on All Stars, they don't do that. Yeah. Um. Anyway, <laughs> we're in our Project Runway era. Yes. Uh, we're on, like, season six of All Stars. Yes. Uh, we're also watching as a family The Bachelor. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Joey, The Bachelor. We're big fans. Yeah. We loved Charity Season, which was the last Bachelorette. So good. And that's how they, like, continue the show. Is, like, so Joey cute. was, like, someone who made it pretty far on The Bachelorette but didn't win. Yes. We also so really liked the Bachelor. Zach's season before Charity. I, yeah. I really liked Zach's season. Yeah. There was some drama that I didn't think would happen. It was bananas. But, but it is a show. Fun. I'm sure it's also pretty scripted, TBH. But I have a good time. Everyone's an adult on The Bachelor and yeah. Project Runway, which is different than things like Sister Wives or like uh, any reality shows that's like are about families, I feel like. Everyone is signed up to be there and most of the people are rich enough that they can quit their jobs for like three months yes. to be there. So it's kind of like if we make fun of them, then like that's fine. It's also like on Project Runway specifically, like nobody gets there by being like bad. Like everyone's yeah. still good, even if they are like not built for Project Runway. There was a girlie we really liked from only a couple years ago. Yeah. And I was like, I really love what she's doing. They're going to I hated on Project Runway and yeah. she did not last very long no, no, no. because she's giving clown core and they don't want that on Project Runway no. and which is a bummer but like you know she was still good just not what they were looking for okay last thing in the media category this is just for me he doesn't watch these but uh I've always as an adult at least in my adult life really liked having a clean house. Um, I really enjoy cleaning. It's hard right now because I lose energy so much quicker than I did before I was pregnant, which is rough because like it is genuinely like a hobby of mine <laughs> to like clean our house and I enjoy it. But the good news is it takes very little energy to watch other people clean their houses. <laughs> so I'm super into like hashtag clean talk. I'll put, I'll type these up so they can That's see. That's what I was going to say. Uh, I have like five creators in particular that I would recommend that my husband will put on the screen. They're amazing. If I'm like stressed out, I will literally just watch their videos because they're like relaxing. Most of them, I think one of these folks uses audio, but most of them use like the original audio of what's happening. So it's just the sounds of like a dishwasher running or... ASMR. Yeah, it's like ASMR. It's really nice. I feel like they're relaxing. I feel like they bring a nice vibe. I feel like they also motivate me to start doing like cleaning if I needed to and I was putting it off. And like, I, it's nice. Like everyone, everyone in the world has to do laundry. You know what I mean? Everyone has to like wipe down their kitchen at one point or another. It's nice. It's like a community. The next category, I put like food slash drink slash snacks. Yes. I don't know. I couldn't think of a shorter name for that. Yeah. Like food. I think food is fine. Things you put in your mouth. Okay, not bad. <laughs> uh, Go ahead. You're at the top of this one. I'm going to start with the grocery store Winco. Yeah. It's great. It's lovely. 
It's the cheapest place to go grocery shopping. You have probably seen us do our little grocery shopping things there. It's just, it's so much cheaper. I had to go get a couple of weird things. We went to Fred Meyer. Yeah. And it was like $50 and it would have been, they don't sell all those things at Winco, but it would have been like $20 at Winco. I think probably 30, but yeah. It's, it's like a huge difference. Yeah. Um, one of those things is uh, corn chicken nuggets. These I pulled out of my freezer and I have to go put them in the freezer when I'm done talking about them. These are my favorite. We do them in the air fryer and they're really good. This is my like quick autism lunch right yeah. now. I don't like the gardein ones as much, but these ones are perfect. The impossible ones are okay. That's everybody else's favorite, but the corn ones are my favorite. Yeah. Upstairs got a panini maker a while ago. Yeah, probably like three or four months ago. And every once in a while we go through a panini era. We're in it right now. We're in one right now. I take a bagel. Instead of toasting it, I panini it. Just the bagel. Just one half bagel. One half bagel. And then I take a little egg, a little sunny side, of, well, just a flat, what is a flat egg called? I don't remember. Fried egg. We only call it flat egg at our house. It's an egg that's flat, but it's fried egg. Cook it most of the way through, so it's just a little bit like gooey in the middle. Put it on top of there after I've done the seasoning salt, and that's perfect. Yeah. That's my other autism lunch. Yeah. Autism breakfast lunch. You're in your panini egg on top. Yes. More than having panini sandwiches. I have. Yeah. This lovely snack I've been enjoying the whole time. <laughs> These are also from Winco. So if you don't have a Winco, I'm sorry. What we like most about it, one of the many things we like most about it is they have like a bulk food section. Bulk foods section. This is one of those items. It's butter, toffee, Always. almonds. Yeah. Is that what they're called? I think so. They're so good. I already like, uh, I really like peanuts and almonds anyway. Yeah. Uh, they're also like a good source of like protein throughout the day. So people say they're like a nice, people call it like a healthy snack. I don't want you to think I mean healthy and like other snacks are bad. You just mean that there's nutrients. It, it. It's, I just mean like it's a smart way to get more protein because there's a lot of protein in nuts. Put some nuts in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they say. You know what I mean? Like it's like best bang for your buck is what I'm saying. Not necessarily like healthy. Yeah. Obviously the ones covered in butter and toffee are not, I'm not here to give you healthy. I'm here to give you delicious. Right. Um, I love them. We can't get them in this jar. We get them in a bag. No, you have to get them in a bag. The good thing about Winco, though, I gotta get a little container. Uh, or I gotta take a little container, I'm sure I have one, to start putting soft plastics in it. But they have a place where you can recycle soft plastics. Like, the bag that they come in, or, like, uh, nobody, nobody here has, like, the cheapy, like, Walmart bags anymore, like, plastic bags. Um, but a lot of things that you buy come in bags like that, especially things like vegetables or bulk foods. So I think I'm going to start putting those aside to recycle them there because we go there anyway. So yeah. we can just pop them in on the way in. Why not? Um, I'm also, it is almost Easter, which we only do like secular Easter at our house. Don't get it twisted. But Cadbury puts out these Easter eggs and I love them. Not the big old chunky ones that are like, I don't know, like caramel on the inside or something. like the ones that feel like chalk on the outside. They do. They do. I love them. I don't have any right now to show you because I already finished my latest bag. Mm -hmm. They also, though, they've gone up in price so much. One yeah. bag that's like the size of my hand is $5. It's bananas. So you've got to be really selective with like when you want to eat them. Yeah. But they are amazing. I'm so glad. It's my favorite time of year. One of my many favorite times of year. We are also both in our human being era. Yeah. Human being's a cutesy little coffee shop. Yeah. What do you get? I get a medium iced milkadamia latte with lavender. It's good. Morgan gets a, a strawberry matcha. We switched from Dutch Bros to Human Bean because Human Bean has matcha and yeah. Dutch Bros is not. I've been wanting matcha. I'm in my strawberry matcha era. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not always what I want, but it's perfect because right now I can't have a lot of like, well, I can't have a ton of caffeine anyway because I'm pregnant. Some people do no caffeine. I'm happy for you. I've been doing a little caffeine, but I've been having no coffee. Uh, not because of the caffeine reasons. It made everything worse bathroom time wise than yeah. it ever has in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't have any coffee right now. I can only have like very small amounts of caffeine because otherwise that happens. So matcha is a great option. Uh, what I get at Dutch Bros is just like chai, but it's like, I don't really want to pay $7 for chai when like I could, I could definitely make chai at home. We've tried making matcha at home. It does not go well. It, no. Don't try to tell us how. Don't give us tips and tricks. We've tried it's it all. It's not possible. It's just not the same at my house. I don't know what it is, but it's great at the human being. They also have breakfast sandwiches. Oh yes. Thank the lord well, because obviously we've not been going to starbucks on account of the consumer boy well and the best thing about starbucks their drinks are like they're good they're fine but the best part was the breakfast sandwiches yes. um because we don't have duncan here in oregon tragic which is a bummer I'm anyway sorry. and then when we were like when i really wanted matcha the other day and then we were like let's try human bean i was like they have breakfast sandwiches they have like this a is like today. it's like essentially oh a dude for so the... i got two of them today yeah and it was the best, it was the best part of my day. You have baking gouda powers too. I love baking gouda G. I've also, I've tried making sandwich with gouda at my house and it's also not the same. I don't know, because like gouda is a hard cheese. 
right? So I can't have it. Uh, the problem is like, it doesn't melt at my house. I don't know how they're getting it to melt when I'm at a restaurant or at the human being. Don't tell me. Uh -huh. Instead, it's just a magic thing that happens. It's a little treat I get to have. I'm also in my Hot Pocket era. Yes. <laughs> I had Hot Pockets a lot as a kid, forgot they existed. And then out of nowhere, I was like, I really, we saw a commercial on like YouTube. <laughs> I was like, I really want Hot Pockets. And so now it's been like two months of me having like a ham and cheese Hot Pocket basically every day. That's been my, my lunch. <laughs> But it's really good. I love it. What are you doing? Oh my god. Okay, cut that up. This is wee yogurt. Look at it. <laughs> this is the best yogurt in the world. I I fucking wish they would sponsor me. I have excuse me. I have <laughs> <laughs> I have so many jars. They come in glass jars. Mm -hmm. And you can buy uh, on like Etsy or Amazon or like through like weelid.com or something. It says it on here. They have little lids. And I love them. Now, I unfortunately eat so much yogurt that I can't keep all the jars. But they're glass, and we live in Oregon, so like you can literally just wash them and put them in the recycling. So good. I don't know what I don't know how I don't, I don't know why they're different. I don't know how they're different. I don't know if it's the glass jar they come in, but they are so delicious. It's like two dollars for one jar. It's expensive yogurt. It's so good though. It's a treat. It's a treat. Okay, this is my last food item. I've talked about these on stream. These are called Goodles. As far as I know, they're a Target exclusive. I've heard it's of cost some Costco's they have them. I haven't seen them at Costco. It's just mac and cheese, but with like, what does it say? 14 grams of protein, seven grams of fiber, uh, 21 nutrients from plants. It doesn't mean anything, right? Basically, they made it for like, this is for your picky kid who only wants to eat mac and cheese, but we've secretly put like powdered vegetables and other things in it. The noodles are made out of wheat flour and chickpea protein. That makes sense. The nutrients are extracted from broccoli, spinach, kale, pumpkin, sweet potato, sunflower seed, cranberry. I'm cranberry. Cranberry. Chlorella. Mitaki mushroom. Shiitake mushroom. Anyway. All kinds of stuff. They have a bunch of different flavors. They also just released a gluten-free version. The Chetty Mac is my favorite. I personally, now I don't have autism. So if you have like, if you have a super taster at your house, try it, but I don't know if it, you'll be into it. Just let me know. I personally like feel like it tastes just like Kraft Mac and Cheese, except I, not that I ever felt bad about eating Kraft Mac and Cheese before, but I'm like, I'm getting secret, secret vegetables in this. It's so good. It technically makes, I think, two servings. I just eat the whole box. Sorry, yeah. sorry to everyone. I love mac and cheese. It's delicious. Yeah. Um, I love them. They're literally always sold out at my Target, so they must be pretty popular around here. But when we get them, I buy a whole bunch of them. Bunch. A whole bunch of them. So I can have them. Okay, the next category is like gadgets. Gadgets isn't the best word, but it was the closest thing I could come up with for this category. The first one, my love, my everything, is my Kindle. Eel I, Spice. I love her. I love it her. Eel Spice. Eel spice. It is Eclipse. Yeah, they're ugly. The new covers. I love my Kindle so much. Uh, I basically gave myself like a reading goal last year and I was like, if I read this amount of books before this time, then I'll buy a Kindle. And then Felix agreed to that. I bought it. And then I, my goal last year was to only read 25 books and I ended up reading 50. It makes reading so much easier. For a couple of reasons. For a couple of reasons. Let's discuss why. <laughs> One is that on the Kindle, you can change the font to the dyslexia font. Yeah, the open source dyslexia font. Morgan is certain that she doesn't have dyslexia. Yeah. It's just some crazy random happenstance that it's much easier for her to read when it's the dyslexia font. Yeah, I read a little faster. Interesting. And for no reason. With better comprehension. No, the comprehension's the same. I don't have mm -hmm. to. I don't have to. You made up words before. No, that's not true. You're lying. You're lying now. Um, it's also it's much lighter. I was stubborn, okay, and I was stupid because for years, being like a casual reader, very casual, I was like, no, I love a physical book. I love the way a physical book feels in my hand. I love the way a physical book looks on a shelf. And those things are true. I was stubborn, and I was like, I'm too good for an e-reader, and I was wrong because it's so nice to lay down sideways in my bed and have this incredibly light thing that's like lighter than my phone and just tapping instead of having to like keep the light on mm. to read. It's also, it's called like paperless ink. No, digital ink. Uh, it doesn't hurt my eyes. It's different for everyone. Me personally, it doesn't hurt my eyes. I love that you can adjust the brightness. I love that I can just like, I don't buy books really for my Kindle. I get them all through my library and use Libby. I could talk about it for hours. I love it so much. If you're on the fence about getting one, 
I would say borrow one because some people don't like the Kindle. They'd rather get the Kobo or something else because they all are like slightly different. Try to borrow one, see if you like it. Um, but I love mine. I could talk about it all day. This is my next one. You saw us purchase this. You did. This was in a different vlog. At the Winco. At the, no, at the grocery outlet. At the grocery outlet. This is my mouse fan. I also have a pig. He's upstairs. <laughs> this was $7. I do not know the brand name. Uh, he's rechargeable. He's rechargeable from his little butt. I was already like really hot all the time. Uh, that has only gotten worse since getting pregnant. Uh, so I'll be taking both the mouse and the pig to the hospital when I give birth. They're amazing. You can bend them. You can bend them around. You just like put them, you charge them. It also like it holds a charge for like a fairly long time. It's really cute. It was $7. This is why you gotta check like the weird little section at your grocery store for things. Cause they might have something like $7 mouse fan. And it has changed my life. I love him so much. Next we have Headache Hat. I think you should talk about Headache Hat. All right, this is the Headache Hat. Every time I wear it, people ask about it. The premise of these is that it is cold and it, you keep it in the freezer and then you put it on your head. There's a million of them on Amazon. None of them are any better or any worse than the other ones that I've experienced. We have yeah. a bunch of kinds. This is our favorite. This is mine and Bo and Mom's favorite right now. It's called like the Billy Talk something something yeah. on uh, Amazon. And it's good because it's got this little thing for your little nose so you can put it on. I don't ever do that. I usually just wear it like this, like I am the migraine pope. It's great. This one gets so fucking cold in the freezer, which I also really like because I wanted to hurt my head with how cold it is. Morgan was doing this with the one upstairs and it uh, made a lump in the center. It got like the, disconnected from itself. The inside stuff sticks to itself. So it like wrapped up. So I had to like perform surgery and cut it open and flatten it out. It's very sticky and jelly on the inside. Um, but yeah, big fan of this. It works great. The next thing on the opposite side of that is hot pad. Other people call them heating pads. That's a hot pad. I don't think people say hot pad. I think just you say hot pad. Let me know below that you say hot pad, because that's what we all call it. But it's a pad, and it gets hot. You plug it into the wall. Right. Right. Yeah. Anyway, ours, I think, was from Amazon. It was, well, the one we've been using for, like, four years was one from Morgan's <laughs> Nineteen eighty nine. Yeah, I stole it when I moved to Disney World. It was literally it smelled hot when you used it. Yeah, that one was really scary. This one that we have now. Not really hot though. Yeah, really hot. <laughs> <laughs> this one that we use now has different like settings on it, and it also has like an automatic turn off timer. Like it won't stay on for longer than two hours, uh, which is great. Yeah. Um, and it's perfect. I use it most nights because my neck and my back and my pussy and my crack are often sore. Yeah. Typically, just my neck and my back. Your head hurts every day. No, I don't think that's true. Hmm. Oh, my Marta Luna purse is the next one. To be transparent, I was gifted this. Yes. But I use it literally every day. It's so cute. It has a super extra long strap, which if you are plus size, I, you should know that is life changing. Because like what happens normally is like, I'm not gonna stand up. So sorry, you don't get a very good visual. But like what happens normally is like the strap kind of stops like here. And so even on like the longest setting, and so like normally crossbody bags don't work for me because I'm too chunky. Um, and this has a super, super long strap. It's really cute. It's got like the perfect amount of weird little pockets. I'm obsessed with it. Um, also can shorten the strap, right? Yes, you can shorten the strap. Yeah. Um, but like it adjusts to be really long, which I appreciate. It's amazing. I use it literally every day. Oh, I also, based on Cozy Games recommendation, downloaded the Happy Coloring app. And I was like, this might be kind of stupid, but it's like color by number. Um, I'm obsessed with it. Yeah, Morgan and Mom are both really good. <laughs> she recommended it, and I was like, okay, like I'll give this a try. It's free. You can pay seven dollars to not have ads. I personally will. Mom watch literally it. was like, I might have to pay seven dollars somewhere like that. It doesn't God. stop you in the middle of doing a page. You you have to watch an ad between coloring pages. So like, I don't so feel she like has no patience. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like it's that big of a deal. But. If you want to spend seven dollars, you can. It's so nice. Uh, it's a very like head empty. Like it's just it's just another thing I'm doing to like keep from scrolling while I'm like watching TV or whatever. It's so nice. Um, or you, if you have colored pencils and a coloring book at your house that you like, get back into coloring. It's just nice. The last category I named miscellaneous because I have no idea what else to call them. I've been making felt crafts. This is Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. You guys have seen. I've been obsessed with these. I'm in the middle of a uh, Good Night Moon one right now that has taken a long fucking time. And I think next I'm going to make felt 
house plants because I saw them on Pinterest. I guess Pinterest also. I'm obsessed with yeah, it. Yeah, right Pinterest you've been very into. I'm really into Pinterest and pinning things. So if you want to see the things that I'm pinning as crafts that I would like to do at some point in the future, follow us on there. People are funny. Um, a lot of folks being like, oh my god, I can't believe you're so good at this for someone who just started doing it. You just haven't seen me do felt things. Yeah. I've been doing felt like art, not quite this intensive style, but um, very similar to this since I was like 12. How about your business that you had? Oh, I did have a business. In the fourth grade, I had some fleece that my grandmother gave me for Christmas. And I made tube tops and tube dresses and tube skirts for American Girl dolls that I sold for like $4 each. On the playground, they had to make a new rule about how children weren't allowed to sell things at school. I also got Tamagotchis banned from my elementary school. You're a criminal. I'm a criminal and I'm autistic. And those are just things that we know. But yeah, felt stuff has been fun. It's a really, it's like a very like low-key vibey medium i feel because when you're sewing it it's just like really hard to fuck it up there's no like fraying or anything that happens like it can get kind of like pilly if it's something that's going to be like worn or like used a lot or like rubbed up against things but i'm just using it for decor so it's kind of perfect yeah oh free label the next one is like clothes type stuff i guess actually just that one i guess but like we're both really into free label. Also, they send us things for free. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transparency, they send us stuff for free. This is not an ad, but they send us stuff and we make uh, like videos for them. Yeah. They're like a, very, a small business. With, They're like, a small business in Canada. Sustainably made stuff. They're great. Uh, I'm wearing a top from them right now. This is the Danny bra. I'm wearing it like the backwards way, but it's like intended to be that way. I recently got one of their carry bras and I am obsessed with it. It's I'm like so a, sad that it's like dirty. A camisole yes. situation. I want eight more of them. Uh, and then also their Sunday crop pants. I want like six more colors of those as well. All I do is wear them until I'm like, I've been wearing this for a few days and then I wash them. And then I, they have to be air dried is the only downside because they're like bamboo material. Yeah. And then I have to wait for them to dry. And then I wear them again. I, I am think, obsessed with everything they make. I think the Sunday crop pants are like two hundred dollars. Yes, and I think this the top is one hundred dollars. The carry bra is ninety eight. It's ninety eight Canadian. Canadian dollars. So I think it's like seventy dollars. Yeah, so that's all the Canadian prices. But yes, yeah, so all is to say, cheaper, but not by much. We have a weird job where we are oftentimes gifted things that we wouldn't necessarily be able to afford, or things that like maybe we would prioritize purchasing if they weren't something that we were gonna get for free. So like, we're never like, we're not often like hurting for like bras or pants. No, we get gifted clothes very regularly, which is why it's amazing that we have the plus size clothing swap. Which is great and perfect. Yeah. So, but what I will say, addendum to that, if you had somehow gotten a, one of the carry bras at a plus size clothing swap and we didn't have this job, like I think that we would go out of our way to buy you. A couple more like it is they're great it's just it's sometimes it's like i don't know you know if it i don't think if you are just trying to get something that's like a bra that works for you that's fine it's like a lower price point that this is not what you want if you want like a perfect really nice bra to wear all the time like that's what this is intended for it's not yeah. meant to be like a it's like you say you want to buy six more and i wish we could get you six more no but that would like, be six hundred dollars it would be so much money yeah <laughs> so it's not you know what i mean i want to buy six more yes it won't happen yeah 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 exactly that we have a weird job where we have things that we couldn't afford this glider oh my that we got God. for the ad is eight hundred dollars it's a nine hundred dollar glider our crib is eight hundred dollars like um, and we this... could not afford to buy any of these things no at at all no absolutely not. please know that yeah, yeah and when yeah, people yeah. see our nursery they're like it's so beautiful it's filled with things. The only thing that we've bought, we Facebook Marketplace this bookshelf. Yeah. We did buy the dresser. Yeah. But I've wanted it for years. And we I did also. Buy the paint. That's true. We spent a lot of money on paint. Yeah. But like, it's a weird job that we have. It's weird and we get to prioritize things that other people wouldn't be prioritizing because yeah. they didn't have this job. If we were, we would we'd definitely still get like a convertible crib. I don't even know like the comparisons yeah. between them because you've always wanted the nest egg and we've yeah. always known that we were going to like work with them to get one. Yeah. Um, I knew that if they didn't want to work with us that we would probably buy it. Yes. Because everyone I know who has one loves it. Yeah, most of the convertible cribs, um, they say that they're like three in one, but they don't actually make a mini crib and also a regular size crib. Or yeah. they do like a regular size crib and then a toddler bed, or like the nesting does all three, which is part of why we like it. Yes. Also, like, I like the materials that it's made out of. I like the way it feels. Yeah. It's very easy to clean. Like, yeah. there's a lot of reasons why I really like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of Facebook Marketplace, my next weird thing is Facebook Marketplace. I recently just did a video, the spring cleaning video, which is my favorite one I've ever filmed. 
I had a really good time. But I sold a bunch of stuff on Facebook Marketplace, made like $105. And then I also get on there, like, it's my favorite social media. I get on there, like, every day. Yeah. And that's how we found the really cool, like, pencil table that we're going to clean up for the nursery. Yes. That's how I found the Pottery Barn, like, bookshelf thing. This Pottery Barn bookshelf thing was originally $200. I paid $40. Yeah. That was a pain in the ass to take apart, to put in our car, to put back together at our house. And then to paint. And to paint. And I also drove three hours there and three hours back to get it. As far as thrifting things for, like, the baby's room specifically, because, in theory, he's going to put his mouth on possibly everything, I don't want to thrift a ton of stuff that's in here. I would like for most of it to be new and us to be, like, the only owners of those things. But that's not always the case. <laughs> But we thrift pretty much everything else in our house. Yes. That we can. Yeah. And that's how you get like incredible stuff. Also, like, I don't know. I, I like that it's one of the few like things we do like as a community still where you're like, time to meet up with a stranger at a Trader Joe's parking lot to buy a weird cookie jar. Morgan's you know? an extrovert, first and foremost. That's true. <laughs> um, the next one is Canva. We do a lot of Canva streams. Yeah. I've got a lot of feelings about Canva. Go ahead. There was like a weird moment on TikTok where I was getting like Canva discourse where people were like Canva's taking jobs away from graphic designers. And I don't think that that's fair to say at all because like we made a pamphlet that is we're going to like pass out at our uh, uh, baby shower. I was never going to hire a graphic designer to make me a pamphlet. I just wouldn't have had a pamphlet yeah. to pass out. I would have had like a single sheet something. But now because with Canva, it was like quick and easy to do. We've got, we pay for Canva. I've tried to get them to work with us. They won't. They're probably homophobic. So jot that down, everyone. Yeah, they could be. I don't know. We write it off on our taxes. Yeah, we pay for the, the, the premium the pre or whatever. Or whatever. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's great to use for so many things about content creation, especially if you're a content creator or if you have a job that's like any kind of social media adjacent, I would say definitely get Canva, if, even just the free version. Like I was going to say, if, if you, the free version, you can still do most things. Yeah. Uh, the reason I put it on here is because like, I like making silly little things like kind of just for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, so like we're going to do like a baby Q and a video and I spent like two hours <laughs> making just an Instagram story thing for that to, for a place to put the question box when we both we all know that it probably would have gotten the same amount of interaction if it was just like a picture we took in the moment with the question box but I think it's really cute I really enjoy making stuff like that where it's a type a girly yeah it's really fun box. I also anytime we go on vacation I like get on Canva and put like our outfits for the day and our itinerary and like yes all kinds of stuff I love doing that and it's a project for me it's a hobby for me and I like it last thing also not a product <laughs> is this is my new hairstyle it's so cute. it's not perfect today i picked these from the wrong place on my head so just pretend that they're from the right place on my head i picked them a little too far down but i like this little like like clip 90s little flipsies in the front face framing layers face framing little hairstyle it's like it's the era i'm in right now i think it's really fun it brings me joy i like it those Did are you... things that have been our favorites the past few months few months I don't know if we'll do another video like this again. We'll see. I think we will. I can keep a... This was, This I made this list in like a, a few days. Yeah. I know when other people do it, they keep a list for like a month. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I should add that to my favorites list. So maybe I'll do that and it'll be more cohesive. But yeah, I really enjoy it. I hope you liked it. I hope you're enjoying your favorite things. Yeah. That's really it. Okay, love you. Goodbye. Love you. I have to pee so bad. I have to pee so bad. It's crazy.